open the rumen and remove some of the contents to allow you to examine the mucosal surface. The mucosa is made up of small papilla. Look for evidence of disease. Cut a small piece of rumen and place it in the jar for histology. Collect some rumen contents and place them in a zipper lock bag for toxicology. Open the reticulum, remove some of the contents, and examine the mucosal surface. The normal mucosa has a honeycomb-like appearance. Foreign objects tend to accumulate within the reticulum. If the animal has been given a magnet, this is typically where it will be found. Collect a piece of reticulum and place it in the jar. Open the omasum. These contents are very dry and distributed throughout many leaves. Inspect the mucosal surface of several leaves and collect a sample for histology. Open the abomasum and empty the contents. This is a common site of disease. Inspect the mucosal surface carefully for evidence of erosions, ulceration, hemorrhage, and neoplasia, as the abomasum is a common site for lymphosarcoma. Collect a tissue sample for histology. To begin your examination of the intestines, locate the ileocecal valve as a means of orientation. Examine the intestinal lymphoid tissue, including the lymphoid aggregates located on the anti-mesenteric side of the jejunum. These aggregates are 5 to 15 centimeters in length and resemble a bag of fish eggs. Continuous lymphoid aggregates are also present along the ileum, running from the ileocecal flange to the ileocecal valve. Larger lymphoid aggregates are located in the cecum, spiral colon, and rectum. Lymphoid aggregates are targets for lymphotrophic infectious agents such as BVD mucosal disease and rinderpest. The resulting infection may produce necrotic and erosive lesions of the intestinal epithelium covering the lymphoid aggregates. Other infectious agents, such as malignant catarrhal fever, may produce lymphoid proliferation, resulting in enlarged lymphoid aggregates. Continue with a general inspection of the outer surface of the intestines, looking for any evidence of lesions. The mucosal surface of the bowel should also be inspected. This can be done along random sections of the bowel or at any specific areas which appear suspicious for disease. Using the knife, separate a section of intestine from the mesentery. Next, place tension on the intestine and insert the knife into the lumen. With the sharpened edge of the knife facing up, cut along the mesenteric side of the bowel to expose the mucosal surface. Alternatively, scissors can be used to open the bowel in a similar manner. Evert the lumen to expose the mucosa and inspect the surface. Never scrape the bowel with your knife. Scraping the mucosa damages the surface and prevents proper histologic examination of the tissue. To collect a sample for histologic testing, you can simply trim off a section of the intestine and place it in the formalin jar, swirling it in the solution to ensure the formalin passes through the lumen. Alternatively, some people prefer to submit a loop of intestine that has not been opened along its mesenteric border. A section of intestine should also be collected for microbiology testing. This is done by submitting a tied loop of unopened bowel. Begin by cutting two lengths of string. Separate a length of intestine from the mesentery. Make a small loop in the intestine and using the string, tie a secure knot around the ends of the bowel that form the loop. Tie a second knot adjacent to the first knot. Now you have a loop of intestine isolated with two ties. Sever the intestine between the knots and place the specimen in the plastic bag for microbiology testing. Alternatively, you can get a gastrointestinal sample for a bacterial culture by opening the bowel, 
and swabbing the inside of the lumen for inoculation of either aerobic or anaerobic media. This method is preferable to submitting a closed loop of bowel for microbiological testing when shipping delays are expected or when an anaerobic culture is indicated. The mesenteric lymph nodes should also be inspected. This long chain of lymph nodes is located along the mesenteric margin of the intestinal loops. Use your knife to partially dissect out the chain and visually inspect them. Individual lymph nodes can be isolated and incised for further inspection and microbiology testing. 